Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. We're out at the range today with a Glock 19X for concealed carry. Stay tuned. So this is a bit of a tough video to make because um, I got to eat a little crow. When, when I saw the Glock was going to release the 19X, which is essentially uh, their, what they submitted for the military handgun trials. Now, it's not exactly that same gun because for the military, military handgun trials, they had to have an external safety and some other things. But uh, it's essentially that gun. Uh, they described it as having a, a Glock 17 grip and a Glock 19 slide. And I went, well, that's stupid. Why, if, if all you're getting is the same sight radius as a Glock 19, what's a civilian going to do with that? And I, I have one of the, the uh, one of your viewers pointed out, well, but it has duty applications for policemen who, you know, uh, might be, you know, sometimes in plain clothes and sometimes not. Um, they, they get essentially what feels like a full-size gun with full-size capacity. You know, the Glock comes, uh, the Glock 19X comes with two 19-round magazines. That's a 19 plus one. Uh, While well, you still get uh, the, the Glock uh, uh, 19 size slide, so parts interchangeability and stuff. And, and I said, sure, for maybe uh, duty use, police use, that kind of thing, it might make sense. But who would carry that gun? Well, um, you know, I had no intentions of buying one. And, and uh, then, uh, you know, my buddy Ricky, who, you know, is a gun nut, and, and he's got to own every Glock on the planet. In fact, he'll buy your Glock if you don't look out. Uh, you come in one day and find your wife a soldier Glock or your, or your husband, and Ricky will have it. Um, he buys one of these things and uh, brings it out to the range. And I'm, well, sure, I'll make a video on that and shoot it. Why wouldn't I? And, oh, my God, the, it's, it shoots amazing. It's an amazing gun. Now, of course, the, the 19X, you know, I've done a video or done a couple of videos on this already, but the 19X here is uh, it's a Gen 5 Glock, more or less. At least in the the upper, there's some differences down here in the lower uh, compared to the the other Gen 5 guns. But uh, after shooting that thing, I just oh, I gotta have one. And as it turns out, uh, I, I went out. I I now own every Gen 5 gun except for the 34 MOS, and that probably is in my near future as well. Considering that um, Rock City Guns is now a Blue Label dealer. <laughs> um, and anyway. Uh, well, okay, it, it's in my future, because my wife watches this channel some, so maybe we don't want to wrap, wrap me out, okay, honey? In the future, just saying. All right, so this is a Gen 5. Uh, it shoots amazing, all that good stuff. I put talon grips on it. I went and put, uh, what are these, uh, uh, Marigold Spartans on them, my new, uh, my new night sight combination, and um, went, okay. How do I carry it? That's the big question. And that's where Aries holsters come in. Um, you know, one of my, uh, one of my things uh, about trying to carry one of these larger guns is typically where I carry, let me kind of step back here, is right here. I carry about 3 o'clock. Now, um, let's get down to brass tacks. I've got this, uh, hold on, let me reposition the camera. All right, quick commercial interruption. This is the Nerd Gone South patch. It has the Velcro stuff on the back, suitable for putting on your hat, putting on your chest, putting on your range bag. 1250, 1250. Link in the description below, support the channel. All right, there we go. So as you can see, I'm all right. Anyway, uh, I'm a man of size. I don't know if that you spotted that or not you probably picked up on that and um you know while many of the people come by who we like to refer to as trolls on the channel and point out that i am a man of size let me just say i am however i still want to be able to carry a gun i still get to defend myself like anyone else so get over it uh, i am who i am i have the needs that i have and i know lots of other guys that uh, have uh, similar bodies body type come watch these holster videos so these videos are for you 
So the trick is trying to fit the gun in a place where you can hide it between, well, this is what I like to refer to as the lower chub. And then I've got this spot up here called, I, I call it the upper chub or UC, so LC, UC. And that's what we call it. Um, I like to try and get the gun right in between the chubs. Because, um, I mean, let's face it, folks, when you're, and I'm a 3X guy right now, um, used to be a 5X guy, I'm a 3X guy, I'm not completely, you know, ignoring my health, but when, uh, when you're a fat American, they make your clothes, they know that you've got no hips. So everybody else wears their, their, their pants down here. When you get above about a 2X, they start making these things so, so that your belt lines up around your TTs, okay? Um, I mean, I can literally do that. All right, I don't, but I could. Um, so anyway, your belt line's up above the chub, the LC. So it, it creates a, an interesting new need when you try and conceal a handgun. And uh, so far, I have a, a shovel-shaped holster, and it fits real nice here, but it was never going to conceal the 19X because it puts the gun with the grip sticking straight out like that. So I thought about it and went, <clears throat> I really want to carry that gun. Why do I want to carry a 19X? Well, um, you know, folks that watch the channel, you know, I teach concealed carry, uh, which is uh, required to get your permit here in North Carolina. You have to take a, a one-day class. I teach that class, and I'm a, a, an NRA certified pistol instructor. So uh, I do get asked, what, uh, what can I, you know, what do you recommend for concealed carry? And I always say, get the gun that you can shoot most accurately under stress. Not, you know, a target pistol you can sit back at 50 feet and shoot. What you could pull out from a holster, get out of your conceal, uh, your concealment and get on target and shoot accurately. After that, you want the highest round count you can possibly carry. And the reason is simple. As your heart rate goes up, your adrenaline dumps into your body, you're going to start to shake. You're going to miss, folks. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, I don't, I, I'm incapable of creating conditions like I would see in a gunfight. And I'm just hoping never to have to actually put these skills into practice. I want to prepare but never have to use them. Um, so I'm expecting my miss rate to be fairly high. If that's the case, I want as, as many damn rounds as I can carry. Um, 19 plus 1. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, so... I got a hold of Harrison Jones, who is the uh, owner-operator of Harry's Holsters. Now, you can find him up on, uh, yeah, you know, uh, all that fancy stuff, Facebook and the, and the Snapchats and the, uh, I don't know, all those things. You can find him up there. I'll put links and all that in the description, don't worry. And he makes awesome holsters. Now, Har Harrison is an appendix carry wizard. You should see this. I'll try. I think I've, he came out and did the advanced concealed carry class here, and I think I've got some video of this, of this guy drawing. He's fast. Holster. He's real fast. He makes that appendix carry thing real attractive. Well, I don't mean that in a naughty way. I mean, like, you might want to actually try it because he's that fast at it. But appendix carry for for the chub doesn't work because it just, I don't care if you, how hard you tuck that shoe in, it just, when you, it doesn't work. So anyway, I got a hold of him and said, hey, uh, do, are you doing a 19X holster? And he said, yeah, I am. And look at the color, folks. I'll get close-ups to all these things. How cl it, it just, it matches the gun. Now, I you know, I'm no fashion maven, but uh, hey, if it'll do it, why wouldn't you? Uh, he did a fantastic job of matching the color on this thing. So... The other thing I was trying to accomplish was, uh, I'm a computer nerd, right? So no computer nerd gets to carry his gun at work. Um, so, you know, I, I gotta disarm and lock it up and then rearm when I get back out. And I, I don't wanna have to, I, I can't stand outside of my car snapping on gear and all that. So I wanted a holster that had a belt clip so that I could easily get it on and off like that. That works better with the gun in it. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, hold on. Let me show you something. Whew, Hollywood magic. Um, Harrison sends 
with this holster bag more doodads and thingamabobs and clipsy doodles than you can imagine. This holster is set up with holes and mounts and clips and slots and things so you can arrange this holster any dang way that works for you. It is by there is no more versatile holster out there than Harry's holster. So um, it, it's made of good kydex. He's taken time to round off the edges and made sure that you know it's a comfortable fit. It has great retention, two retention screws. Um, he's using good grommets in there. The system actually creates real retention on the gun. So you get good actual retention on the gun. A lot of these holsters I've had, you screw those retention screws down and, and do nothing. It just never works. Um, Harry's got this, or, uh, the Harrison's got this thing exactly right around the trigger guard. Um, and of course, he's got a single clip. Now it does come with doubles and and uh, you can you know arrange this rig any way you want. You can get it, uh, use it for appendix carry, whatever. But what this holster does that I needed it to do, it's very thin uh, this way and it's very narrow this way. And what that let me do was something I've never been able to do with another holster and that's tuck it in at about the four o'clock position. Right in about there. So that does a couple of things for me. First of all, it puts that big old 19X. Let me uh, actually get the magazine in there and give you the full effect. It puts that big old 19X in between the UC and the LC and lets me conceal it just fine. Now there's another side benefit to this and that's on the draw. One of the things that having the gun back like this does is it forces you as you draw to get an aggressive stance. It encourages you to get into the gun. Um, this is one of the things that uh, we have a, a, a really hard time teaching new shooters is, you know, you've got a controlled explosion at the end of their hands. They want to lean away from it. And it's really hard to get them to understand that you want to lean into that gun. You've got to drive the gun at the target. It's like playing any sport. You play basketball. I'm not, I'm not a basketball wizard, but you play basketball, football I played, you, you get into your target, you move into it, you're, you take an aggressive stance, wrestling, anything. Um, baseball, when you swing the bat, you don't stand back, you don't lean back and try and hit the ball, unless maybe you're bunting or something, you lean into it. It's the same thing with, with shooting a handgun. Um, with Harrison's holster, because it's back in that spot, I'm now encouraged to lean into it to do the draw. One of the other things that uh, is really handy, a lot of these guns or these holsters with a single monoclip like that, they slide around on your belt. There's just nothing you can do about that. It's just that that monoclip is only going to hold it in place so well. So Harrison's included a claw with multiple adjustments. You, you actually have uh, the, the claw piece here. He, he gives you two of those with all the screws and bushings and everything you need to extend it out. So you can adjust this to um, the uh, amount of, of uh, holding power, I don't know how you want to say that, but the amount of retention, I guess, that you need for your body shape. So uh, for me, this claw, and again, I'll get close-ups, this claw keeps that holster in place really well, um, where you know normally you'd have to worry about you know constantly repositioning this thing. And you'll see, um, I've already filmed the, the shooting piece of this, and I did it without the claw in place, and you'll see me sort of have to readjust the holster. Um, going through that, I figured out, oh, I I'm gonna try the claw and put that guy on there and, it and it's fixed that as well. So, amazing holster. Uh, let's take a look at that shooting.
All right, let's pull out the timer and uh, see what this holster is doing to my draw speed. Two oh six. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I was cheating on that one. My shirt was up. Cheating on a bunch of these, I'm betting. One sixty seven. Seventy-three. <laughs> Took me two shots to get him. Two seventeen on the second shot. All right, you can see there. I, I still need to do a little bit of practicing. This has changed my draw stroke quite a bit. Um, but you know, I'm around two seconds. I you know, I want to be faster. You want to be under that two second mark. I don't know why. I don't know who made that up. But you just want to be as fast as possible and. Uh, changing your draw stroke is going to sort of, uh, you know, kind of throw that off. I am uh, normally I'm about 20 feet from the targets when I do this kind of practice. Today I was 45 because that's where I set the camera, and uh, it's good to do that. Uh, you know, mix your distances up because it, at this distance you actually have to aim. Under 20 feet, you don't really. It's a lot of point shooting. Back here, you've actually got to acquire that front sight and put it on the target. There were a number of shots where I was uh, regularly draw and shoot that uh, a six inch steel target down there at 40 feet at about two seconds. I don't feel too bad about that. So um, I, I love how this holster puts me in that more aggressive stance. It's helping quite a bit. Go up and uh, check out Harrison's uh, uh, YouTube channel. He's uh, done a bunch of videos. He does uh, uh, round count tests on pistols. Um, he did a series on the Sig P365 that's worth checking out if you've been considering that gun. It got quite, he's got some major reviews on those videos. Uh, got to mention on the Military Arms channel, um, he found some true inherent weaknesses of that gun. It's worth uh, going and checking out. Uh, follow him on Instagram. He's got, uh, he posts pictures all the time of new products he's releasing.
he's got some things in the works that I'm hoping to bring to the channel. Uh, maybe some uh, uh, some Molly uh, Molly holster, which I haven't talked about this on the channel yet, but I'm I'm actually going to go do my first uh, two gun shoot next Saturday. So um, I'm just hoping not to get DQ'd. Anyway, um, so hopefully I'll be able to use Harrison's uh, Molly holster at some point. Yeah, Harrison's holsters. Her no, Harry's holsters. Harrison Jones. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, folks, always remember anyone can shoot You know, I do this at the end of every video. You'd think I wouldn't get that one wrong, wouldn't you? Always remember anyone can shoot. Um, if you're looking for a high-quality holster, you'll be able to shoot out of this one. I don't know. I always do that. I don't know why. Anyone can shoot and have fun. Go. Go have fun. Go away. Stop watching YouTube videos. We'll see you next time. Yeah.